Good afternoon. Today we're learning some ropes and knots, and today we're going to start with the figure eight class. To tie a simple figure eight, you basically just wrap the rope around itself, and it creates a little eight shape. Now once again, wrap the rope around, come through the middle, and you'll end up with the figure eight. So. We're going to do it on a bite. The easiest way to do it is to give yourself a nice loop so you've got plenty of rope to, you, to practice with. Take your loop all the way around, wrap it around just the same number of times as you did for the single, and then come up through the middle. And you'll end up with a figure eight on a bite and a handy loop that you can use for a lot of different hoisting applications. So, once again, Wrap around once, basically one and a half times, and pull it tight and end up with that nice figure eight. Now, in the fire service on everything, we uh, always tie a little safety knot, right? Which is generally what we call a half hitch. And then we want to dress up our knot so it looks, looks decent. Okay. next thing is figure eight follow through. So you do just like at the beginning, basically one and a half times through until you get your figure eight shape. And for this one, you're going to actually want quite a bit of rope. I may have shorted myself, so I'll slide it down a little bit. Perfect. Should give me enough rope to do the follow through. And this is to go around an object. So you're still getting the same loop like we did before, but it's uh, if you have an object that you want to lash to, and then basically you just follow the path around the knot. Just follow your way back down into the hole, and you'll end up with your nice little, not dressing up as nice, there it goes, nice and tight. Now you're lashed around the object. Now you go ahead and put your little safety in. It's just a half hitch. Now you're lashed on. And that is the figure eight class of knots. Right, go ahead and practice these on your own time. Okay, now we're looking at the double loop figure eight on a bike. So you basically take a big loop go around here one and a half time. Take the body of the rope, not the loop part, and pull it through. Then you take the tip of the loop and you go over the top of the knot and pull the two through. And what you'll end up with is a nice double loop figure eight. Okay, once again, let's tie it again. For demonstration purposes. Get yourself a nice amount of rope. Go around one and a half times. Take the double ends of the loop through the middle, come over the top with the other one, all the way to the bottom. And then when you tighten up, you'll have your nice two looped figure eight on a bite, and you can tie your safety in real quick, just with a half hitch. And then your knot should be all nice and dressed up. All right. Okay, next knot we're looking at is the clove hitch. Tie clove hitch around an object, such as this chair top. Go around, essentially make a half hitch. And then you forget that it's there, but you gotta basically make the same half hitch on the other side. And then when they pull together, you'll see that the ropes cross. Then what you must do on this one especially is tie yourself the half hitch safety knot. So, once again, you come around your object, and it doesn't matter which direction you go. You basically tie the two the same direction, the same way, and then they'll end up crossing when you pull it tight. Then throw your half hitch in for safety. And this will work on a horizontal or vertical surface. Your one's easily usable. 
Now, the other tool, and this is not proper technique for an actual axe race, but you take your clove hitch and you turn your hands the opposite direction. So you end up with one one loop on this side, one loop on this side, and then you cross them. And you just throw it over your handle and pull tight. Okay? And that's how you get that clove hitch real good around anything that has a uh, shaft or that's round that way. Once again, basically take your hands one loop on one side, one loop on the other, and then bring them together, and then you'll end up with the coil hitch in the air, and you can throw it around the axe handle like I just did. You can even throw it around the chair like so, and then pull tight, and throw yourself your safety half hitch in, and then you're secure. Okay, now we're going to show how to use your knots to raise three different um, tools, so to speak. One's an SCBA tank your classic axe and then the uh, New York hook or bar, depending on how you want to call it. So today we simulated this being tied up on the roof and then we have our tagline. So you can keep the tool from banging the walls or windows on the way up. It kind of has to be in the middle of your rope. And the main knots we're going to use are the uh, clove hitch and as well as the uh, half hitch. So once again, you're going to tie your clove hitch and go around an object such as an SCBA bottle. Make sure it doesn't fall all the way to the ground. You can help it. Pull tight. Come up, throw your half hitch around the uh, neck of the bottle. Pull tight. Now your bottle is ready to be hoisted up to the roof. There's very little chance of it coming undone. And when you get to the roof, you can just push the knot right off and release your tool or SCBA bottle. For the New York hook, basically take the same setup, but this time I'm going to go ahead and throw the clove hitch around the working end here. That way that one gets raised up to the ceiling. And go ahead and put it up right next to the working part so that it has something to grip on. And then you can come down. A lot of guys will throw two to three half hitches. Actually one's adequate, but we'll go ahead and throw it another one in just because it doesn't take very long. Alright, so you got your two safety half hitches and your clove hitch around the working end. Same kind of thing when it gets to the roof, if they get a little slack in it, it'll just slide all the way down. Got a nice little bump thing here you gotta get around. And your tool's free. Last but not least, you can do the fire axe. Now if you do a clove hitch on this, what's going to happen is you'll take this and you'll go around your little pieces of your axe here, and then you'll pull tight. Okay? Notice how it just keeps sliding off the edge. Not quite as secure. Right? Even though we're going to throw our half hitches up top, uh, the best thing you can do to keep this from slipping off the end is to take both of your strands after you get it nice and tight and come up and do your safety hitch with both of them. Okay? Pull tight. Make sure it's nice and secure around the tip. Now, just the rope that goes to the ceiling. Come up and throw a half hitch around. And keep it towards the other end of the tool, up on the handle. There. Now you're actually secure and good to go up on the roof. And you still keep it away from the wall, from the window, it's banging. Make it still hoist it all the way up. And even if this slips off, it's not going anywhere. So. That's the best way to tie the axe with the clove hitch. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to talk about tying a square knot. A square knot is routinely used to tie two, one, two, pieces of rope together of equal size. So we start with two pieces of rope. Notice that they are of equal size. One over the other, then reverse that and 
one over the other. Dress the knot, make sure it's nice and tight. And there we go. You can see we have a square knot. All right, now let's look at the bowling. Uh, number three here on our list. So basically, in your left hand, give yourself a loop. Come up through the rabbit hole, around your tree, back down into the rabbit hole. Pull tight. And what do we always do? We always leave ourselves enough tail to, to make yourself a little safety knot. All right? And dress your knot up nice and pretty. Okay? Let's tie this one more time. Make yourself a loop in one hand. Come up through the rabbit hole, around your tree, back down into the rabbit hole. And then tie your safety knot. Excellent. And dress your knot up a little bit so it looks nice and pretty. Like so. So. Now you may ask, well, what if I need to lash around an object? I'm glad you asked. So let's go around the object. Same process. Make yourself a loop. Go up, around, back down. Hold tight. And safety down. There's your bowling. Around an object. So, there's another way to do it that's a bit faster. You do the back hand, call all the way around, pull this loop through like so. You can just pull your knot in. It comes in pretty rapid. So let's let's make this a little bit slower, right? Come around your object, put your back hand here. Turn around in front of your body and back down. Snag the rope, pull through. Take the running in. Put it through now. Reverse and the bone is tight. Yeah. One more time, full speed. Come in, do this, flip it over, and the bone is tight. Don't forget your little safety hat. Dress your knot up a bit, and you're good to go. And that's the bone. So now we're going to do the Beckett bin. <laughs> We do the Beckett bin to tie two ropes together of unequal size and diameter. So first you take the bigger of the two ropes, make yourself a loop. Take your smaller rope, go up under, around, and it's similar to the square knot, except for instead of going through the hole, you go back under your smaller knot, pull tight, and don't forget your safety half inch. Uh... -huh. 